Before the crisis, 600,000 Australians were employed in the arts, an industry which added around 3.2 billion Australian dollars to export revenues. The rate of employment in the sector grew at a faster rate than the rest of the economy. According to government figures, cultural and creative activity contributed to 112 billion Australian dollars, 6.4% of GDP, to Australia's economy in 2016 to 17. Beginning in the second week of March 2020, Australian institutions began announcing reduced services, and then complete closures. One of the first casualties was the Melbourne International Comedy Festival, with organizers announcing on March 13, 2020 that the 2020 festival had been cancelled entirely. Opera Australia announced it would close on 15 March. The national closure of all cultural institutions was mandated on 24 March, with subsequent restrictions on public gatherings. Consequently, many cultural events were also cancelled, including the Sydney Writers Festival. According to the Australian Bureau of Statistics, by the beginning of April, arts and recreation services was the sector of the national economy with the smallest proportion of its business still in operation, at 47%. A graph in Guardian Australia showing businesses by sector that had ceased trading between June 2019 and March 30, 2020 shows over 50% of arts and recreation services the hardest hit of any sector, information media and telecommunications is next, at about 34%. Adrian Collette, CEO of the Australia Council for the Arts, the government's arts funding and advisory body, described the impact on the cultural and creative sectors as catastrophic. The Australian film industry has been severely impacted, with at least 60 shoots being halted and about 20,000 people out of work. On Monday 23 March, all productions funded by Screen Australia were postponed. As of April 15, 2020, after some improvement in COVID-19 statistics in Australia, Screen Australia continues to fund work and process applications, intending to use all of its 2019-20 budget. Film industry organisations such as Screen Producers Australia, SPA, and the Media, Entertainment and Arts Alliance, MEAA, have been lobbying the government for a support package specific to the screen industry, and to expand the job keeper requirements so that those in the screen industry are better covered. Many in the film industry are employed by special purpose vehicles, temporary companies that cease trading once production has finished, which cannot easily prove that their turnover has fallen by 30% or more. SPA said that the industry shutdown had cost more than 500 million Australian dollars, with about 20 million Australian dollars of lost export revenue. 119 films and TV shows have been halted, with only a few shows, such as MasterChef Australia and Sean Mikalef's Mad as Hell, continuing production through the pandemic. The TV soap Neighbours was the first English language TV drama series in the world to announce that resumption of production would begin soon after April 20, 2020. L.